Hi, I'm Shannon Hale. I'm the luckiest person in the world because I have my dream job. I'm a writer. I don't think anyone sets out to, to be a young adult or children's writer. I don't think anybody thinks I want to write for children. I think all writers write to themselves. Part of me is still very young, writing to that internal audience. And I, and I think that's a nice place to be. Between the ages of 10 and 16 were the most magical age for reading. It's when I had confidence in reading and I could read whatever I wanted and just explore these stories. With The Goose Girl, my first book, I based the setting on uh, medieval Germany, which was the land that many of my ancestors came from. And then with Princess Academy, I looked to Scandinavia, which was another heritage I have. It, I wasn't until I was finished that I realized that this mountaintop setting was the mountains of my home. Fairy tale retellings is my way of, of getting inside that mystery I felt when I was young and finding a way to, to understand and explore it, expand it until it becomes a full fledged story where I want to live. The thing I fell in love with Robin McKinley's books was there was this girl who was an ordinary girl, but she got on a horse and she got a sword and she went off into the wilds and had an adventure. And I had never read books like that before. I really believe that everybody has powers and, and, and talents and they can seem fantastical, they can seem magical. We all have these things that we sometimes take for granted. And I love with my characters to find those hidden talents and those hidden powers and watch them develop it and, and see what they can do with it. The books of Bay Aaron, all of those powers are tied into different kinds of nature. I love fairy tales. I think fairy tales are something so universal about. Fairy tales just exist in, in every culture and every land. I think the most irritating fairy tale of all time is Rapunzel. So I decided we had to do something about Rapunzel. And we rewrote her, and she uses her braids as whip and lasso and goes out into the, this old wild west landscape and, and becomes a vigilante hero fighting wild coyotes and bandits and stuff. It's, I think, much more appealing to me than the original story. I have a website at shannonhale.com and I keep a blog there that I update regularly. Because Shannon's amazing. <laughs> yeah, and there's such a loyal community of fans. Because she's such, above and beyond, such a wonderful writer. She's such a wonderful, wonderful mm -hmm. person. And when you meet her, she just sends off this charisma. Mm -hmm. That's what made me fall in love with her. It's one way I think I can keep in touch with my fans. Let them know what I'm doing, thinking, and hear back from them. The thing that's the nicest about selling Shannon's books is they aren't just for young girls. Sure, you can sell a fifth grader Princess Academy. I can sell Goose Girl to any adult who walks in the bookstore, and I guarantee you they will come back and read the next one and the next one, and then they'll say, well, what else has she written? Well, here's the beautiful thing. She's written adult books, too, and they're terrific. I think that for every reader, the, the more we read and experience inside our minds and in imaginations makes more possibilities in our own lives. Falling in love with reading is the, the best gift that any of us can give ourselves.